More than 10 days ago, a powerful 7.8 magnitude earthquake hit Turkey and Syria. And the death toll has now surpassed more than 42,000 people. And disinformation surrounding this harrowing and catastrophic event is still very present on social media. Here's the latest example. Uh, this week, the Chinese embassy in France posted this on Twitter. It's supposed to be a video of a bridge in Turkey that the Chinese government claims to have built. And they go as far as to say that the structure uh, resisted the powerful earthquake thanks to their technology. And they even used the hashtag uh, China Tech in the tweet as a way to boast Chinese innovation in the region. Later, uh, this article was published uh, claiming that the Chanakali Bridge, that's what it's called, remained intact after the earthquake. And it also says that the structure uh, was built in partnership with a Chinese company called Sichuan Luciao. The bridge really does exist. It's located in the western part of Turkey, neighboring Greece and Bulgaria, and it's the longest suspension bridge in the world. But was China really the one that built it? Well, uh, we took a look at this international database, which collects information about different structures around the world, and we found uh, that no Chinese company was majorly involved in the construction of the bridge. If you look closer here on the website, it says that the design uh, was spearheaded by a Turkish company, and the detailed design was taken care of by a company based in Denmark. And according to the bridge's official website, there are four more uh, major companies that invested in the construction. And two of them are from South Korea and two others are Turkish companies. But the second part of the tweet that also just doesn't add up is the fact that this bridge is located more than a thousand kilometers away from the epicenter of the earthquake, which was just a few kilometers outside of uh, Gaziantep, as you can see here on the map. And just to show you, here's another map of where the aftershocks were felt after the major earthquake. And as you can see, they're very far away from where the bridge is located. So the earthquake couldn't have impacted the structure. And after receiving a massive wave of criticism uh, from social media users as well as from French media, the Chinese embassy in France decided to delete the article and the tweet that you saw earlier on. And it's not the first time that the Cube has debunked false claims surrounding the earthquake. Uh, there's been an alarming number of fake videos circulating on social media that we fact-checked for you. If you're interested in finding out more, please check out our website, euronews.com.